I had a terrible night's sleep. I feel exhausted. It's like 4 a.m. I don't know what to do. When you are sleep deprived, it affects every single organ in the body. I feel like I'm not focused at work. Whether we talk about heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, or even our mood, I need to talk to someone to help me get a good night's sleep. The good news is that great sleep can be just a few nights away. I'm Dr. Raj Dasgupta, a sleep medicine expert. I will be evaluating people who are wearing home sleep monitoring devices. It can be a simple fix that makes a big impact. We are cracking the sleep code. My name is Steve Doss and I live in New York. New York, what's happening now is I wake up way too often, way too tired. Waking up without getting the proper rest is brutal. If When I'm exhausted, it affects my job fully. I need this sleep to be on track because I'm not able to do the work that I need to be doing from home, having not gotten a really great night's sleep. Steven's sleep has been impacting his ability to function at work. So he is wearing a sleep monitoring device to gather his data. Then we'll meet up and give him some tips on how to improve his sleep. Usually people call this where all the magic happens, but this is where the magic does not happen. The biggest problem I have with sleeping is I get up a couple times a night to go to the restroom and I would look at the clock and think about work, worry about what emails I didn't answer, what I have to do for the next day, what I didn't take care of the day before. Why can't I sleep? I need to get to sleep because I have to get up and this is what needs to happen. Let's go to sleep. So the anxiety about not sleeping well while I'm trying to get to sleep is kind of like a blender and I'm up for hours. Based on the data so far, I'll be looking at Steven's TST, total sleep time, and his WASO, wake after sleep onset, to try to figure out what's going on. So I'm on my way to go meet Dr. Raj for the first time. I'm hoping he has some suggestions that'll actually work because I'm at my wits end. I've got to start getting better sleep and I'm hoping something works. Hi, Steve, how are you doing Hi. today? I'm well, how are you, Dr. Raj? Not too bad, so let's talk about your sleep. It's gotten progressively worse, I think, as I've gotten older. I definitely will go to the bathroom twice a night at the least. Okay. So coming back to bed and falling back asleep has been a real problem. So Stephen, before you came here today, you uh -huh. were doing some objective sleep monitoring. One of the hot topics that we're gonna be looking at is called wake after sleep onset. That's going to the bathroom, right. you know? And it shows that your first trip to the bathroom happens somewhere between one to two hours after falling asleep. That sound about right? Yeah. Let's focus on the times where you go to the bathroom, you go back to bed and you can't fall asleep again. I will sometimes take a glance at the clock or I'll come back to bed and think about my boss's email. When we talk about not being able to fall asleep again, mm -hmm. it is gonna happen. It's not time to worry about things. It's not time to worry about your job. So Steven, your path forward is next time that you go to the bathroom and you go back to bed, I know you cannot look at the clock. I know you can do that. Sometimes one simple fix can have a huge impact. We'll look at some objective measures with your sleep monitoring device, mm -hmm. and we'll try to piece it all together. Great, perfect. So Dr. Raj's tips seem pretty easy. I was, I was really expecting something a little bit more extreme, but hey, if not looking at the clock when I get up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom is gonna help, then I'll definitely try it. So it's time to go to bed, and tonight I'm going to put Dr. Raj's advice to the test. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to go to the restroom a couple times throughout the night, so hopefully I'm not gonna look at the clock per his recommendation. I'm also not going to look at my email, because if I check my email, I'm gonna start spiraling and thinking about work and all the things, so here goes nothing. Hope it works. So let's look at Steven's data. You know, on night number one, he went to the bathroom around two hours after falling asleep, and it looks like his heart rate actually stayed up, which I'm gonna take a guess that he probably had trouble going back to bed after the bathroom. Got up to go to the bathroom and I looked at the clock and I was not supposed to be doing that because every time I look at the clock, I have problems getting back to bed because I start thinking about all kinds of different stuff. So in looking at night number five, he still went up to use the bathroom, but in looking at the heart rate, it, you know what? He just stayed at his baseline and it didn't change and it didn't go up. So it kind of implies that, you know, maybe he didn't pick up his cell phone. Maybe he didn't look at technology after he went back to bed. It's 
actually been working. I feel like I've been falling asleep much faster when I come back to bed after going to the bathroom instead of looking at the clock and doing all the calculations in my head as to how much sleep I'm gonna get. Okay, let's look at night number 14 and he only went to the bathroom once and what's even better, he was able to fall back asleep almost immediately according to his device. Didn't check the clock when I got up to pee only once, which I usually go twice. So yeah, all of these tips and tricks from Dr. Raj are really working. And I mean, I got like a really nice long sleep and I'm gonna go have an epic workout, so woohoo. I am so proud of Steven. He listened to my tips. He is able to reinitiate sleep. I only see good things for him in the future. Meeting with Dr. Raj has been a real game changer for my sleep. I think that this is going to impact my life in such a positive way. I'm actually have told so many people that I know, you can't look at the clock if you get up in the middle of the night, you gotta stop checking your emails. And they're like, okay, great. This is gonna improve not only my life, but those that I know too.